Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much will depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. We are not at war with other ethnic nationalities or tribes. That's according to IYN. That's Igbo Youth Movement. Yes, there are firms harmony with all ethnic groups and they are denying conflict with any tribe in Nigeria. That's Igbo Youth Movement. All right? Yes, their leader, Evangelist Elliot Ugochukuko, released a statement where he said that these are lies. So he called it web of lies cleverly woven and driven by certain individuals just to achieve a particular selfish end. He said it has been regrettably fueled by ignorance and the manipulative exploitation of vulnerable unemployed youths who are used as propaganda tools on unregulated social media platforms. That is talking about the, the Igbo youths. So they are on social media platforms criticizing other ethnic nationalities. And he said these young people unwittingly used as pawns in this unholy experiment are dissatisfied with the system and willingly make themselves available as instruments in what they perceive as a rightful call for good governance and a better country. Unfortunately, they do not discern the point at which the genuine demand for democratic dividends ends and the manipulative exploitation to serve the personal interests of desperate politicians begins. Onyuko continued to say, look, say these innocent youths have been ruthlessly manipulated by unscrupulous politicians to create divisions between the and other Nigerians, deepen ethnic and religious divides, and foster unnecessary hatred, intolerance, division and seeds of prejudice that will ultimately harm their future. He said this unhealthy, unhelpful and deceptive strategy of promoting a divisive narrative such as our candidate is divinely ordained, the only acceptable candidate and the other candidates are unfit and horrific, which was employed during the elections over six months ago, is surprisingly still being perpetuated and is slowly becoming the new norm and an unacceptable culture. He continued to say that the level of hatred expressed without restraint and motivation when describing disliked candidates from other regions is alarming. This degree of hate left unchecked could impact negative values to our children which will work against us in the future. This Onyuke said, we inadvertently present ourselves as sure losers and desperate power seekers, attacking, abusing, and insulting individuals with different political opinions may lead to others uniting against us in future elections. He said, saturating social media with hateful content mocking other candidates six months after elections is wrong and may send the wrong signals to others. It is time to reevaluate our actions. Furthermore, it is not accurate to assert that gaining political power is more important than pursuing a consensus-based restructuring of Nigeria. Lastly, he said, we do not claim to possess exclusive knowledge and wisdom to rebuild Nigeria. We have not declared that we will not accept the election results or tribunal judgments that do not favor our preferred candidates. We have not stated that Lagos is no man's land. We have never asserted that we will take over or dominate the lands of other people. We have not at any time asserted our right to determine the political fate of other people's lands. We are not in conflict with anyone. Ndibu are law abiding and patriotic citizens who believe in live and let live. That is the statement of this uh, Elliot Onyuko. Yes. Okay, Ugochukuko. I said this Elliot Ugochukuko. Now, I've said what he is. He said he is the secretary of the Eastern Constitutive Assembly this year and deputy secretary of Hebrew Leaders of Thought, ILT, as well as the founder of this uh, Hebo Youth Movement. Okaha Nebuankata. Okaha Nebuankata. Said this Ugo Chuku Uko. All right. These are the people who have been paid by the APC propagandist. This is what they are doing on social media. Their tribunal has fixed a date for their judgment. So that is it. That's why he's making these utterances. 
that they will accept. You and who will accept? He said, oh, they are in Nigeria. They are working for Nigeria to be better. Imagine. Somebody who is trying to advise the youths and is deceiving the youths. You say you are an advisor. You want to advise the youths not to be, you know, haughty on the social media, not to be attacking other tribes, of which we have not seen them doing that. The Igbo youths have not been attacking any tribe on social media. They have not done that at all. Now, this man is advising them. You were you are advising people. You have attracted something that needed to be advised upon. You yourself, you need advice. Yes. You needed the advice more than these youths. Youths have not done nothing, anything wrong. Yes, they are still on the right path. You yourself, a propagandist of the APC, you are telling the youths that they are threatening enemies. When the enemies waged war against them, their ancestors, their forebears, for 30 months, more than that, what did you say? After it, they told us nothing worked. Okay? From thence, it has been manipulation, subjugation, annihilation, and outright extermination from the surface of the earth. What did you say? Okay? All the census figures churning out each time will be against a particular zone. They will short change and am twist a particular zone. What do you say? Okay? So a region has been excluded. They have been, you know, short changed time without numbering in the course of you know pro project Nigeria. What did you say? Nothing. And you are telling the youths on social media they should have restraint from attacking other, other tribes. Nobody is attacking any tribe. They have decided that they would de deal ruthlessly with a particular region and tribe for doing nothing to them other than they have risen up to say, look, this is what we need. Since you don't want us in a given country, let us stay on, on our own. After all, the boys were not the first who said they want to leave. There was nothing else that said Araba. They want to leave. They want to secede from the country. Nobody killed them. Nobody did anything wrong to them. They wanted to leave. Alright, it was this British government that called them back and said, no, don't go. Stay. Enjoy the resources from the southern Nigeria. If you go, you will suffer and you will die there. In your dry land. What will you benefit? What do you we use to you know remunerate, remunerate you is in the southern Nigeria. And you are going. Stay put. So now these dear friends are, have been seeing themselves as scapegoats in Nigerian projects and they said they want to leave. It becomes a problem. So you stay by force. Go back by force. And somebody said attacking trash. So it was uh, uh, you know hot they are challenging. Lagos, he both have said it. You don't come and say, oh, we own this place, we own that place. Nobody owns any place. 